I'd like to welcome you to bemorenews.com, the news before the news, where we uncover the truth, 2222 Jefferson Street, with the one and only Mr. Leon Purnell of the Men and Family Center. How are you, sir? I'm good, Donnie. How you doing? Good. You staying safe in this COVID season? As much as possible, but you know, you got to do the precautionary things. So Wear Mr. the mask. Mr. Purnell, for those who may not know, the Men's Center, you do a number of services for the community, including providing health care and uh, services for our young people, our men. Uh, tell us what you do here. Oh, a little bit of everything. We, we address the issues that most people just talk about, the social determinants that keep people from thinking about their health. We address those, like helping with BG&E bills, like helping uh, eviction prevention, like helping them get employment, like helping them get charges are sponged off their record that's just junk and keeping them from getting employment or promotions. Mm -hmm. So those type of things are, are significant. You know, you tell a person to get a job, but then you don't want to help them with uh, the application mm -hmm. or you don't want to help them with the initial fees that it take to make sure he has money for food for that work first week working or transportation. You know, they, they are all keys to failure when you, you send somebody out there and you don't help them with the additional thing. But the word on the street is, if these were the days of slavery, this place would be on the Underground Railroad. <laughs> yeah, right with one of my sheroes, because I believe in her, and I give her the utmost credit for being a pioneer. And well, Harriet Tubman. Oh, my God. And for dealing with, with your, uh, you know, the people. Yes, Lord. But she kept that Code 45, keep them in sh Keep them in line. <laughs> well, she had to. Yeah, because if somebody bound the clown. They was in bad shape. They ain't believe it. Yeah, they ain't believe. <laughs> so it's like a lot of people here, they don't believe even until we show them. Like we show them that, that you know, you can make as much money in McDonald's as you can on some of these corners. You know, people don't believe that, but that's the truth. So... You know, we've, we've got to we gotta stick with it, Donnie. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't just say it one time and let it go. You got to stick with it. Okay, one last thing. Uh, you got a big date coming up on uh, October... The no, we changed it. To November 5th? November 5th. November 5th. November yeah. 5th. What's happening November We're the 5th? We're having a kickoff for our capital campaign to renovate all three of these buildings. Mm-hmm. We, the first building up there, we kept a lot of people healthy for a lot of years with a free clinic there. Mm -hmm. You know, people don't understand how important that was. That was before Obamacare. Mm -hmm. All right? And we used to go out and try to get meds any way we could to help keep people physically able to work. Mm -hmm. Then in this section here, we had toys and stuff that we collect all year to give to our kids. We have seven schools that we address, uh, kids that would possibly not get anything for Christmas. Mm -hmm. And that's important because I think every child should be able to uh, experience a nice Christmas. You know, I had them, I, I definitely tried to do it for my kids. So, you know, it's, it's important and it's something we do every year. The expungement piece is so important because we have people that came in here and cried. They got so much junk off of their record that they shouldn't even had on it. So, you know, those type of things are important and that's why we keep doing what we do. How can people get in touch with you, Mr. Leon Purnell, especially if they want to support the November 5th uh, community, uh, center launch and fundraiser? Yeah, come down on uh, uh, November the five, uh, 5th and uh 2222 jefferson part street of this thing because around 3 30 we'd be kicking it off we have music food uh surprises a number of different things Good and day. we're gonna have quite a few people coming to speak because that's important uh is there a phone number people can reach you at if they want to contact you yes 410-614-5353 and the email is the men and family center at gmail.com. We love and appreciate you, Mr. Leon Purnell. Keep watching bmorenews.com, the news before the news, where we uncover the truth.